Okay, to finish up this, this example, there are a couple other uh, looping examples based on the, the one above. Here's basically all the code that was above without the comments. You can see it's really pretty short. Um, and it makes use of the print all A line routine instead of the um, draw line function. You'll see it makes a pretty drastic difference in how quickly the things are printed. It gets rid of the flicker. Just try this one out. You can see it's a small program. I'll paste it into the interpreter, and it does basically the thing that was done in all that code above. You can see how quickly it prints out the all, uh, all listing, or uh, any of the listing. Um, now next, there's a little example that does basically the same thing. It uses the same database, but uh, instead of being a command line program, it uses the built-in GUI tools. And you see there's a, sort of a different approach to dealing with um, uh, with this sort of um, setup and program setup. Uh, again, we're going to create the same user's database. Um, and here the first thing we're going to do is create the user list, which basically just draws out um, uh, of the user's database each of the first, uh, first uh, names. The way it does that, it uses a for each loop again, goes through the user's database using the word user, and um, it appends, it creates a new block called user list. Again, we copy a blank block to create that blank block, um, and append that thing called user list, each of the first names, user1. Um, and then we sort it. So that's an alphabetical order user list is the sorted user list. So it's everything. Uh, and then create a view uh, layout. This time we're labeling, labeling the layout display GUI so we can refer to it later. Uh, that has a little header. It says click on the username to display their information. Uh, items are going to be lined up next to each other. Uh, create a little block here. Uh, not a little block, a um, text list here called list users. Uh, it's going to be 200 by 400 pixels, pixels across, and the data in there is going to be this user list that we created up here, the first names. Uh, take that much so far. This is the action block for this text list. Uh, for the time being, we'll just demonstrate how this works without having that uh, text list do anything that's clicked on. Just end that block right there. It's the end of the view layout block, and you'll see here we have all each of those names now in a list. So all we've really done so far is uh, create the database with all that information, uh, create another little uh, block based on that uh, to get the first names, and then we put it into a uh, GUI view layout put some text and put a text list in there containing that user list. Uh, there's going to be one more item in here. It's going to be an area, which is just a, a text area, initially with nothing in it, 300 by 400 pixels that wraps. We'll call that display. And the only other thing that's in here in this program, what, what goes on, again, what we're trying to do is display information for each of the users. So whenever this text list gets clicked on, whenever an item gets clicked on, we're going to do this code. That's the, see the starting and ending blocks. Everything's indented. Um, create a new block called current info. And what's going to happen here with that info? Again, we're going to create a for each loop. Run through the data. Remember, this happens whenever we click on an item in the user list. So we're going to loop through each of um, each of those items. If we find uh, in the first name the value which was clicked on, so we click on the first name, and if we find in any of those items that first name, then we do this. And here is this block. We do from here to here. And what we do is we add to current info, or we yeah, make current info equal this. The rejoin values of all this stuff. Um, that's where that 
block starts and ends. So now we're saying current info is going to be this. So text that says first name and then the first name in the new line. And then last name, the second item, which is last name, address, uh, so it's date, and the phone number. So now we've created the current info block, and that's uh, got all of the user information for the name that we clicked on. And then what we do is we set the text in the display area to be that text we just created. Um, and we update using this word show. We up that dis update the display. If we don't use show, it won't actually make the change visible in the GUI. So that show is a very important word in Rebel GUIs. It updates. Anytime you, just, you update any uh, uh, item in a GUI in Rebel, you have to use the word show to make it actually show in the GUI. And then we also update that uh, list of users. And there it goes. What we're going to do on the whole thing. Got the users block defined. Got the first names displaying in that uh, text list. And then when it's clicked on, we loop through, match the value, uh, the name that was clicked on to one of the items, and we show all of that um, current info, first name, last name, and so on. We update it in display, and that that's going to do is let us see the info for every name that's clicked on. Paste this in, and here's our text list, here's our area. Click on George, and it loops through, finds that info, and prints it. Jim. John and so on. And this is just text block that we created, so we could copy and paste that into a word processor or anything else that we'd like to use it in. A simple little database application.